Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of Cooking at Isabella. I'm Nurse Tao. Today we're making a simple Thai lunch. It's called Kwa Pao. So this actually is a recipe that I have gotten from my friend Nina, and also I have made some modification for this recipe. So today I'm really excited to make this recipe for you. So let's look at the ingredient list for today. You need one pound of ground beef. Also, you need to have about one to one and a half cups of basil. I usually like a little basil in my food, so that's why I have quite a bit here today. You need about two to three cloves of garlic. I have three cloves of garlic here today. I chop it really small. You can mince them. You can do whatever you need, whatever that texture that you like in your crock pot. I also have about two shallots here. I cut them just really small, so I basically cut them into half and then chop them really small. You also need about five chili peppers around. Those are the uh, Thai fish eye chili, so it look like this. So here is about five. Another thing that you can consider is that maybe use something milder uh, to add on to that if you like to. But today I'm just using five Thai chili peppers here. Of course, if you like it spicier like me, you can always add a little bit more if you like to. To make a crab pao, you also need to create a sauce with a combination of soy sauce and fish sauce. You need one tablespoon of light soy sauce. Then you need one tablespoon of fish sauce. You also need about one teaspoon of dark soy sauce. In addition to that, you also need one teaspoon of sugar. So you basically just mix everything together and those are ready to go. Lastly, you need about a quarter cup to a, a cup of water. Basically, what you use those water for is in the end of the cooking process, you will deglaze the frying pans or wok or whatever that you use for your cooking. So that's all the ingredients you need for today and make a simple, delicious Thai lunch. And you usually can serve it with white rice, steamed rice, or whatever that you like to. Today, I'm going to serve it with steamed rice. So let's get started in this cooking process. To make the crab pao, you need to heat up a frying pan. So today, I'm using a wok to super hot and put in two to three tablespoons of cooking oil into those hot frying pan here. Yeah? Straight in. And then, once that's hot, you can put in the shallot. Easy as that. I usually try to cook get like around like medium to high heat also. So today I'm gonna just do medium heat here. So just slightly cooking those shell up here. Along with that, I'm gonna now gonna add in the garlic. have a way for the heat to heat up but at the same time you can adjust the heat if you need to. So kind of like cook it the, until the shallot can become a little bit soft here. So really does not take too long maybe like 30 seconds to a minute or so because I don't want the shallot to completely soft in this dish. Now I can smell the garlic fragrance at the moment. All right. Now, at this time, I think the texture of the shallot cup changed texture already. So I'm going to add in my Thai chili peppers. That's about five, five chili peppers here. Just like, keep it a little bit, you know, create some fragrance from the Thai chili pepper before you put in the ground beef here. 
Even though today I use ground beef, but you can use any ground meat that you feel like. You can use like Thai chili peppers. I mean, you can use like ground chicken, ground pork, whatever that you like today. Okay, now the pan's got pretty hot here, so I'm going to put in my ground beef for today. Once the ground beef go into your frying pan or your wok, you just want to try to smash them down. So kind of like really break down the ground meat so they will not form any lumps in your dish. One thing about cooking in wok is the center is always pretty hot. So you want to have like, just make sure that you can also get to the center, break down those pieces. So what I'm going to do is cook the ground beef until turn the color into brown, and then I'll add in the sauce. As you can see, the color of the ground beef turned brown right now, so now I'm going to add in the sauce. Mix up light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and some sugar. Like I mentioned before, the light soy sauce cup give you give you a little bit saltiness of the food, and uh, dark soy sauce cup give you a little bit more color. Now you can smell the real fragrance of fish sauce in here. So I have to turn it down a little. Good thing that this for like a uh, non-stick wok here, so looks like I don't even need to deep glaze at all. So the a quarter cups of water, if you have, let's say if your ground meat stick into the bottom of the pan, then you're gonna use that to deep glaze. But today I don't think I need to. So I'm gonna give it a taste here. Make sure that all the seasonings are right before I put in my basil. Really good. I think that's look. Tastes perfect to me. So next I'm going to put in my basil. So the basil first. Stir in my basil here. I try not to breathe bruise my basil all too much. So kind of like give you some fresh taste. What I did was really pick up the basil leaf off the stem. And then just like lift them in whole. I know some people may not like the whole leaves of basil, like whole basil leaves. So if that's the case, you can always like chop them, like roughly chop. That's totally fine. I'm going to plate this, and then we're ready for lunch. How easy is that? Simple, quad pound, quad pound recipe. Hope I'm saying it right because. It is a Thai recipe, but I made some modification, adjust the spice to the sauce that to my taste. Here it is, kwa pao with ground beef with Thai basil today. Usually you could use holy basil, but holy basil is so difficult to get in the US. So with ground beef, shallots, garlic, and some Thai chili peppers. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking at Isabella. Until then, please stay home and stay healthy. I'll see you then. Bye.